this is weird for me. Tone. No tone knob because, you know, tone always a fucking 10, bruh. So I have constantly yeah. like making sure it's at 10. So I keep being like, oh shit. And, but it's the volume. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm listening to you. This episode of Four Levels of Death Metal is brought to you by Sheet Happens, where you can buy guitar and bass tablature books edited and approved by the artists themselves. Head over to their website at sheethappenspublishing.com and use code word DEAN at checkout for 15% off. Do I look greasy or anything? We're both sweaty. You're more matte than I am. I'm shining. I have an inner and outer glow. Welcome back to our apartment where it's really hot. Uh. It's really hot and we have to have the AC off to do this. Please know that our suffering is for you. We're in the middle of a heat wave. In Vancouver. It's, it's hot for the Canadians. Yeah, exactly. What else is new? Oh, I got a new guitar. Yeah, hey. you got a new guitar. This is a very big guitar. And so you'll notice that Claire's actually playing a different guitar today. <sighs> Because yeah. the songs that we're playing are in F. Drop F sharp. Drop F sharp. So it's, we're gonna do things in like an eight string tuning. This guitar here is, yeah, brand new. I just got it this week. Yeah. It's very It's uh, really cool looking. Big. Makes me think of death metal Paul Gilbert. Oh yeah, Paul Gilbert's kind of like guitar Jeff Goldblum. Large brimmed hats. Yeah, colorful uh, suits. Uh, yeah. Is I, that what you did? I like him a lot. So yeah, that's, I, I mean, is there anything else going on? Oh, you're drinking a beer. <laughs> Claire is getting wasted. Well, it's Saturday. That's the kind of day I'm having. Today we're having on a very special guest. Uh, his name is Mike. He plays in the band Spirit Box. And that's a band from Vancouver. Uh, well, Victoria, Vancouver, Victoria. Let me just ask a question. What is a spirit box? Is it is it a haunted chest of some kind? Why are you so stoked on this all of a sudden? <laughs> You can barely contain your laughter just saying that. A haunted chest and then you touch my chest. Are you saying that my chest is haunted? Ooh, <laughs> spooky chest. Do you believe in ghosts? Is it like, um, what are those um, haunted boxes that you can buy off the dark web? And they send you a creepy uh, box. Nothing? A spirit box. Not a thing? Know. Like Pandora's box? No. You couldn't buy that. Not from Greek mythology, no. Right. It contains all the evils of the world. Versus like a loot crate? Pan a loot crate? This whole thing has been very tiring, so can we just do it? This is why I dream. <laughs> Mike Stringer from Spirit Box. Ew. <laughs> Hello, Dean and Claire. Mike from Spirit Box here. Thank you so much for having me on today. I'm a huge fan of your guys' channel and Archspire and everything you guys do. So this is really, really cool. We are Canadian neighbors. We're just a BC Fairies right away. And uh, you know, if you guys ever wanna like go hang out and get some pirate packs or something, just let me know. Pirate packs, a white spot. White spot. Stupid of me to say. No! Yeah, I used to get pirate packs as a kid. So, four levels of whatever it is that you would call my band. Maybe just metal. Let's first start out with uh, Holy Roller. That's a really fun one to play. Very simple. We'll start out easy. Let's do it. What? Okay. I... D I that, what was that? That blew my mind so hard, I don't even remember what song he said that one was. Uh, Pirate Packs? No. Uh, <laughs> no, that's fucking what we're gonna go eat later. Oh, that'd be nice. The riff itself, not super technically crazy. The bending and the chords and stuff, it's like really unorthodox. Not oh. like a... Oh, Greek unorthodox. Right. <laughs> not, not, yeah, not that. Oh, I see. The hardest thing will probably be consistency of the bend. It always sounded the same, and you gotta make sure. Whoa, fucking! How much beer have you had today? Not enough. This chord. Yeah. It's fucking this big time stuff. This big know. time stuff? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Right. We're doing it 100%, and we're big men, we're big time stuff men, we're big boys, you and me. That's your big boy. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're my big boy. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I made a 
mistakes. Okay. Mistakes were made. You can't be a big boy without making a couple mistakes. I made a mistake. Uh, level one. How'd you feel? Level one is done, for better or worse. <laughs> okay. What kind of video is this? I, I think that riff is cool. It's made for big men, big boys, and uh, us being big, big boys, we we're up to the challenge. Yeah, I guess we already covered that we are curvy Cenobites. Claire is now wearing the glasses that she found in a dumpster. On a picnic table, <laughs> thank you. You look like um, the obese character from Hellraiser. Which is what I said to you earlier. Yeah, it applies to me, but it really applies to you. The plus size Cenobite. The curvy Cenobite. Yeah, that thick Cenobite yeah, in so, Hell Hellraiser. So thick. Do you want me to put those on? Give me these fucking glasses. It's the same <laughs> joke that you just had a second ago when you wore them. Yeah, fucking you're the face. fucking thick Cenobite with a mustache. All right. So <laughs> we would fall under the big boy category. Um, big boy Cenobite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, BBC. Okay, level two. <laughs> okay, so this is our latest single. It will be on our record, Eternal Blue, coming out September 17th. Whoa. It's a very melodic song. Oh, this is a special right. little fucking right. preview. It's a lot of fun to play. I think the song's already out. Let's do it. What do you think of his plaid? No comment, I guess. <laughs> it's a nice plaid. It's a nice, it's yeah, a it's nice, nice plaid. plaid. Let's pick him apart. What do you think about his hair? <laughs> I no. mean, he's got straight up a better hairline than I do, so I can't, I cannot say a thing about his hair. Mm, your hairline was designed by Clyde Barker. There was a very spicy little lead line in there for a level two. I'm pretty nervous about it. That was quite fast. This seems too advanced for my dumb guy brain. Well, you're a big boy, so you're gonna stand up to the challenge. It's your big boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, sounds like shit. You can go. <laughs> this is a cool riff, by the way. Yeah. And it's very interesting. Isn't it easier than you thought it was going to be? We're not even doing it at any speed yet. We're just fucking learning the riffs. But I have a need for speed. Yeah. Oh my god. Not too bad. This is weird for me. Mental. No tone knob is fucking weird for me because, you know, tone always a fucking 10, bruh. So. I have constantly fucking with my tone knob, yeah. like making sure it's at 10. So I keep being like, oh shit, and, but it's the volume. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm listening to you. Anything else to say? <laughs> Just fruit fly fucking came out of your mouth. Like where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> fucking that's what happens when you have banana breath. Do I? You have fruit flies. You had just as many bananas as I did today. Mouth. Half, half of one, half of a banana. <laughs> Ninety percent. I am hungry. <laughs> dun, 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 we'll fucking eat another dun, banana, dun, dun. banana there, boy. There aren't any. You ready? Hundred percent. This is level two, and, uh, and big things hungry. in store for level three. <clears throat> much better for me yeah i feel like the neighbors are like knocking on the did you hear that no but anyway uh, level two was pretty fun yeah i had fun I, I like that riff i'm liking these riffs so far i really like these riffs speaking of things that i like surely answering questions uh from the audience is something we enjoy oh. and now we're gonna drop our picks i'm not gonna throw them 
Just drop. Just drop so they're here for when we come back. Precisely. Because we're going to go answer the questions right now. That's exactly it. And we're going to stand up and we're going to go do it right now. We're not going to film it after the episode. We're going to do it right now. We're gonna we get move up, the camera. We we're gonna, change the whole we're setup. Come back and, and the then we set together. it up again. Exactly. Yeah. So All let's right. go do that. Ah, oh. All right. Here we are in another area of our apartment, sort of. Can you tell where we are? <laughs> it's pretty obvious. You're not even looking for a question. I have a question. <laughs> okay. Who asks this question? It's funny that, that you should inquire as to the name of the person that asked the question, because his name is Dean. Oh. Dean Mace. Dean Mace? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, Which is a better, that's a better name than mine. That's a stronger fucking name. Dean Mace. That's yeah. sick. I should have married that one. You know what? I don't like his question anymore. I'm not going to answer it. No, we'll answer Dean's question. Okay, Dean. And Dean's question is, is there any better name than Dean? <laughs> and my answer to that is no. I do love the name Dean, because Deaner, if you've ever seen FUBAR, it's a fucking absolute Canadian gem. Fucking one of Canada's national treasures, set in a place where I lived as a kid called High River. The problem with that movie is that everybody called me Deaner in high school because I had long hair. In high school, I actually was Deaner for Halloween one year. If you hated that, why do you like your name so much? Uh, I guess I could change it. What should I change my name to? Clint. <laughs> no. Richard. Richard is already spoken for. <laughs> Vesuvius. Vesuvius. Would people call you like this for short or Vesu? Not if Vissi? they want to keep their fucking limbs, you know what I'm saying? Vesuvius isn't fuck around. So is Vesuvius a better name? First name for somebody than Dean? My first name is Mount. <laughs> Mount Lamb? Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> oh, oh, well now your last name is suddenly Vesuvius? You said your first name was Vesuvius. Again, I'm Vesuvius is not the kind of guy to put up with this shit. I'll have my people speak to your people. Vesuvius is very business oriented. <laughs> Vesuvius also speaks in third person. What else does Vesuvius fucking do? <laughs> hey, Vesuvius gets the hell out of this Q and A session. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Now that we set everything back up. Um, yeah, we just finished resetting everything up. It's it's strange that we do it in that order because we should really think about we, changing that up. We have to move the camera to the new area. I also had to mist myself with exactly the same amount of sweat that I had on before. You're sufficiently misted. Now we're on to level three. It's a mystery how we do this. Mike Stringer has provided four levels of metal. We just passed level two. Just to recap, anybody that's just catching up right now, anybody just tuned in? Tuned in? How old is yeah, that? Yeah, how fucking old are you? Help us, Mike. Make the next two riffs really easy. The Video Suffering. Courtney, our vocalist, named it that. But also, as far as instrumentally goes, yeah, the whole thing is suffering and it, it sucks. I just, I hate playing it. it Blows. I don't like playing it at all. What the fuck? Why did you choose this one? We're gonna go over the intro riff. It's not like super difficult to play. It's just more so really annoying and weird. Mm. Yeah, when I, when I know. I know what you mean. Three, you're suffering. <laughs> 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 This one's called uh, The Beauty of Suffering. Oh, well, that's not nice. That's not nice? The Beauty of Suffering? No. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god. Dude, oh. Oh. Uh, okay, let's check it out. Oh fuck. You know what I've noticed about his guitar playing is he has a lot of those big minor chords with the uh, fifth on the bottom. Yeah, Which is interesting. Or it's and, a fourth, fourth on the bottom, I guess. And a whole lot of bending incorporated into rhythmic riffs. Like yeah. constantly, wow, wow. Every riff mm -hmm. has this like, wow, 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 wow kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. I feel like bends and stuff like that are usually in, in lead sort of things. Mm -hmm. Unless you're doing like a, jun, 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 wah, wah, like a slam riff, but these aren't slam. Unless I just, maybe I just don't know like, is this gent? I'm not familiar in this style. Uh, I think this is, I think so. So yeah, maybe I'm just not familiar. Maybe this is very common in this style, but to me it's uncommon. And it's something, 
baby. Okay, but da 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 Okay, da da <laughs> and it doesn't even fucking come in on the first beat, too. No. Oh, what did you get it? Yeah, it's got kind of like a nice finger feel. Okay. Hey, not so bad, dude. Oh my god. That's the tail. Of this other one. That's the tail of this other one. That's the tail of the tape. Tail of the tab. That's not too bad. You're doing fish lips? All right, let's go fish lips. Big boy fish lips. Ah. It's hard. How do you want to end it? Do you want to land on that chord yeah, again, yeah, or yeah. you just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just something like that. Oh, dude, I love getting to ninety percent on level three. You understand? Because your eyes actually just frighten me. <laughs> wait, Cover wait, yourself wait, up is so scary. You can't talk to me right now. I need to. I'll talk to the camera. Fucking recover. So ninety percent at level three. It's like the point we can get to where if we give up, then. Did you just fart? We give up. <laughs> All right, now how many beers did you drink? I can't, I can't get over your eyes. You were fucking so crazed with manic excitement that you like were slightly cock <laughs> I didn't even know where you were looking. Like, who are you? It's hot and I'm hungry. And my insides are dying. We need to go. Okay, come on. The yeah, last one we have to figure out by fucking ear and eye. Yeah, like this. How's that? A little tricky boy. A little tricky boy. This is big boy stuff. We're all putting on our big boy pants. We can fit in big boy pants. That's true. The time has come for level four spirit box. Are you nervous? Excited? Nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. I'm fucking nervous. Uh huh. Because we have to learn this one by ear and eyes alone. There's that's no true. tab. We that's have what no tab I'm, here. That's what I'm getting at. Are you I'm truly terrified? Okay. Well, we're gonna tr we're gonna delve into the dragon's den. And, uh, What's your pitch? Pardon me? So if you're going to Dragon's Den, oh. you have a business pitch. Uh, I need a hundred bucks and I need it right now. <laughs> What's your business? <laughs> Whatever you want. A hundred dollar business? My Whatever God. you want. Level four spear box, let's check it out. And what will be level four? Mm -hmm. Save the best for last. This is arguably our most riffy song. The song's called Aphids. It's off our first EP. This is really fun to play, actually. It's not awkward like the last one. And uh, I usually use this as a warm up. You guys obviously play really technical music, but as far as our songs go, uh, this is about as riffy as it gets. So I tend to try and get the blood flowing with this one. This one might be an easy one for you guys. I don't know. This one's called Aphids. All right, gang, that concludes the four levels of death metal spirit box edition. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't thank you enough again for having me on. Yeah, thanks. I can't wait for our pirate pack date. Bye. Great. Okay, immediately some problems crop up. Well, for one, we were using the visual aid, but it's not really an ear aid because we're playing everything a fucking tone lower. It's true. So immediately, <sighs> We have to do a trucker's key change in our brains? Fucking hard stuff right away. <laughs> but I feel like we should at least try. <laughs> Instead of trying that riff, let's take a look back at some of the fun times that we had in this episode. Look up with me. There's nobody else like my sisters. 
my sisters, watch them and you'll know. Wasn't that nice? What did you reminisce upon? Uh, well, whatever I put in the video afterwards. I think that we had a nice time with Mike. Um, I'm very excited for our pirate pack date. We're going there in the fall. We're going there in the fall. So hopefully you are <clears throat> free to... We don't need to make plans with him on camera. Pay for, okay. pay, <laughs> pay for our pirate packs. Oh, he needs to pay for them now? I, he's taken us on a date, I, I thought. Those riffs are cool. I never actually listened to them until this point and they're doing great things. So yeah, if you, if you like what you heard today, go check them out. When you and I go through three levels and we get to the fourth one and, and we think, oh, we got it. We could play all of the given material. And then if we hit a wall, that's okay. Doesn't mean we're failures, <laughs> okay? Justifying it a whole bunch like this sure does make it seem like we think we are failures. Do uh, you feel that way deep inside? Deep, deep inside? How do you truly feel? Do you feel shame? Do you want me to tell you? Yes. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> on the fucking floor like scum yet again we're scummy we're scummy we love being filthy we love scum we're gonna roll on this floor afterwards just roll around in all the fucking dust <laughs> are you squish okay? a silver fish on the fucking roll <laughs>